Welcome to another edition of Sound Advice. My name is Jeff and in this edition of Sound Advice we are going to talk about how we can tackle early reflections, late reflections that occur in our room that don't help us in when we're trying to critically listen to a mix. So we're going to see how we can optimize our listening position by controlling these types of reflections. So if this interests you, stay tuned as we get into how to control reflections. Let me just make this clear about sound absorption. When we're talking about sound absorption, we're talking about sound being absorbed inside of the room. OK, now soundproofing is something totally different. That is talking about keeping sound in and keeping sound out. OK, so the sound that the noise that's being made inside the room is where people outside can't hear. And the noise that's being made outside, the people inside the, the studio can't hear. OK, that's soundproofing. We're not talking about soundproofing. We're talking about acoustic treatment. OK, and if you look at this diagram real quick, we see this. This is called back reflections. You see how back reflections react. OK, we have cross reflections, which is in the purple. OK, you see how cross reflections may act all right and then you see how uh side reflections or early reflections act okay and then you see the direct the direct sound that's coming so this is just to show to give you a a, a image of how acoustic treatment is 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 very helpful okay now Let's look at um, another diagram, okay, about these side reflections, okay? Now, this wall represents this, you see how this wall is treated, this wall is not. So you see how when the sound is traveling, it gets absorbed and more of the direct signal hits the ear, okay? And you see how on this wall, the sound goes and it hits the sidewall and then it comes back to the ear. OK, this will not help you in your mix. This 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 right here will not help you in the mix. So before you go out and buy your next plug in, OK, hold off on that and think about getting some absorption panels. Um, I know that they can be they can be expensive. Uh, what I did was I made my own. OK, and what you can do, you can make your own, you know, and the material that you want to use is this material right here. OK, this rock wool safe and sound with the baby on it. This is what you want if you're going to make your own panels. This is at Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, I think like you have to you like you order it, you pay for it. And then they tell you when it comes in the store and then you go pick it up. OK, and these are the correct size. Once they you open them up and fold them out, then they and they uh, flate up to their normal size. It's already uh, the size of, a, of the panel. OK, but this is what you want to if you're going to build your own panels. OK, now, if you're not going to build your own panels, uh, you know, foam is the next thing. Uh, foam by mail. Uh, they're pretty decent at what they charge for their phone. Okay, so phone by mail is 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 another one. And the main thing is, if you have, get your side walls done first. Don't worry about the the front wall. Don't worry about the back wall. Get the side walls done first. Okay. So before you go out and spend money on that plug in, do 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 yourself a favor and put some acoustic treatments up on the sidewalls. OK, and a technique to use 
when you're doing that is you get a mirror. OK, get you a mirror. And you have it on this wall, right? Slide the mirror along until you see the opposite speaker, which is this speaker here. Once you see this speaker, that's where you place your panel. OK, same thing. You have you have the uh, mirror. You slide it along the wall. Bing. You see the speaker. That's where you put your panel. And that's what's going to catch your early reflections or your side reflections. OK, well, that concludes the topic on reflections. And I hope that you gain some understanding uh, about how uh, reflections react in our working environment. So we definitely want to clear those things out because it gives a false res representation. It gives a false representation of what we actually are hearing in the mix. So if we're having those false representations uh, because of early reflections, well, we're not going to get the best translation when we take the music into another environment, when we take that mix that we just did into another environment like the car. Okay, so we want to make sure that uh, we have our absorption panels put up so that they can absorb those those reflections and uh, like I said if you cannot afford just yet to do your your uh, front wall and your back wall just make sure that you at least get your sides walls done you know because that that's what helps out a whole lot so that we can hear more of that direct signal and then as you as uh, as time goes on then you can treat your uh, front wall and your back wall which will also help uh, tremendously with uh, how we how we are perceiving the sounds and how we need to go about to fix what needs to be fixed in in the mix so uh, this has been another edition of sound advice my name is Jeff and I will see you on the next one. All right. Mm -hmm.